In this paper, we present a simple and intuitive approach for designing space filling tiles in 3D space. A space filling shape is a shape that can be used to generate a tessellation of a space, meaning multiple shapes can be packed together in a watertight manner. These are a few examples of space filling shapes. These are examples of convex polyhedra, 3D solids consisting of a collection of polygons joined at their edges. In this work, we have developed an approach to go beyond the usual convex polyhedral shapes to construct non-convex space filling shapes. Our approach is inspired by scutoids, shapes that were recently reported to occur in epithelial cells due to a special type of interpolation between 2D tiling patterns. These interpolations are obtained by edge collapse or vertex split operations between quadrilaterals, pentagons, or hexagonal faces. Moreover, the reason why these shapes occur in nature is that they are the sole enablers for space filling packing on the skin cells. The Voronoi decomposition is based on the distance between the sites. As you can see, the site claims all of the closest regions next to it compared to its neighboring sites. We theorize that for any two surfaces with Voronoi tessellations, the geometry of the cells in between these two layers can be constructed by finding the Voronoi tessellations in every intermediate layer between the two given layers, using the top and bottom as a reference. The shape of the scutoid comes as a natural outcome of our proposed algorithm, which leads to a new class of scutoid-inspired shapes that we call Delaunay Lofts. We can simply consider a random set of control curves and find the Delaunay Lofts. However, in order to generate modular space filling Delaunay Lofts, we have to invoke geometric regularity in the patterns we interpolate. If we consider a set of curves that is closed under symmetry operations and use our approach to obtain the Delaunay Lofts, the resulting shapes are guaranteed to be space filling. We start our exploration with a simple honeycomb pattern or the regular hexagonal tiling. Now, we move alternate columns of hexagons by an amount equal to half the vertical distance between two subsequent cells in opposite directions. We notice that halfway through the process, every hexagon changes to a quadrilateral. First, we show the middle quad layer. Next, we show the corresponding control curves for each cell. This is the path through which the cell is lofted upon. Next, we show the top and bottom layers. Next, we highlight and isolate a single cell's corresponding control curve to help visualize the loft. As the loft starts, notice the transition from the bottom layer shape, in this scenario a hexagon, to a quad. As the loft continues, notice the transition from the quad back to the top layer shape, in this case a hexagon. The resulting render and 3D print models are shown. Notice the tiling and packing features of the shapes. A simple extension to regular hexagon interpolation by reducing the distance in between the cells on the extremal layers would give us a quad-quad interpolation, with again a quad in the center. We also found another interesting case based on the transition that occurred in the original scutoid. We patterned one such transition throughout the plane to obtain the pent-quad-pent -pent shapes. The results can also be extended from straight control curves to nonlinear curved control curves, such as circular, cosine, or even Hermitian curves. This creates unusual free-form tileable shapes. We can generalize beyond these specific cases to generate a wide range of modular space filling shapes with the help of wallpaper patterns. Wallpaper patterns provide a mathematical classification of two-dimensional repetitive patterns based on established symmetric groups. By extending this symmetry to the control curves in 3D space, we can generate 3D space filling shapes. Now we show some results based on wallpaper patterns. These are interpolation of regular tilings which means that these single shapes can be stacked together to fill the 3D space. This one shows an interpolation in which the transition happens between a pentagon to triangle to pentagon. This one shows an interpolation in which the transition happens from a triangle to pentagon to triangle. These results are based on interpolations that induces a series of vertex split and edge collapse operations, 
which produces a complex and interesting shape. The following are examples of semi-regular tilings, which means that by repeating a pair of shapes, they can be stacked together to fill the space. Interestingly, our algorithm for Delaunay lofts not only generates space filling shapes with complex geometry, but also potentially shows interesting mechanical characteristics as well. For example, preliminary stress analysis on the pent quad pent and the hex quad hex Delaunay lofts show that the magnitude of stress reduces at critical points where the valency changes. These shapes can potentially open up a large range of applications in metamaterial mechanisms, architectural design, infills for 3D printing, or consumer products with modular design. Thank you for watching. Please check out the link below for our research paper on Delaunay Lofts.